You can so file what I ask, so, but how, how in, in what context do I ask? I, I'm not, I don't, I'm not in trial yet. I'm, yeah. Okay. I'm so, like pre-answer. Well, I'm yep. Like, this is very simple then. So you actually want to contact the, 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 they have a solicitor now. They have a lawyer, correct? Yes. And you have all this wonderful time in between your court hearings to, 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 to contact them and to try to settle this before your next hearing. Because all these hearings are is where the lawyer, is where the judge goes, okay, where are you guys at now? Oh, you haven't done anything? All right, well, we're going to do something today then, and I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to be the one doing it, right? So right. Take, take advantage of the time you have in between the hearings, and you want to contact the law firm, and you want to say, hey, i got a couple questions for you before our next hearing. And if you've got another hearing coming up right away, say, I need, uh, d- d- say, are you agreeable to an extension because I need some clarification on a lot of stuff yeah, you guys. Yeah, actually, I have an extension already. Well, the judge granted me an extension to answer. There you go. So I already have an extension. Okay, so now you've got some time to deal with this, right? Yes. And you only need 10 days, really. So you, you want to contact the law firm by mail, and you want to say, can your, can your client, number one, uh, prove the following? And then number one, number one is, can your client prove an injury? Were they damaged? Okay. Have they, they lost anything? Have they lost something, any, any money? That's an injury, right? Well, mm-hmm. they never did, and they can't prove they did because, it, again, it was your promissory note that generated the credits. So they right. can't prove that they've lost any money. Mm-hmm. Number two, um, what are the other two points that I raised there? Um, number two, yeah, where did the money come from? Can your can your client prove where the money came from, or or was the money not generated by by my signature on the document on the application I sent them in? And just send them a couple of questions. There's a, there's a few more like that you can ask if you were to read uh, read Mary Croft's book um, that they they raised on that about uh, the fact that the bank can't prove where the money come from. The, the credit card company, sorry, they can't prove that they that they loaned you anything. That's another mm-hmm. question you can ask. Can you please prove that the credit card actually loaned me anything or risked any of its own assets? Because if you haven't risked anything, it's impossible for you to be injured. And mm-hmm. it just helps establish the fact that the, the, that the credit card company cannot be an injured party. They do not have a bona fide claim against you. And then you want to file in the court that the credit card company was unable to prove a damage they were unable to prove that they loaned you anything. They were unable to prove where the money came from. And then you can say, it's my understanding and belief that the, that the, the credit card company generated the credits they loaned me by the, the document that I sent them that had my signature on it. Say, therefore, if I funded my own loan, how can I possibly owe them anything? And then you can make the argument, say, it, it seems to me that what has happened here is there's been a, an equal exchange of specie of money. I loaned them one form of money, they loan me back another. That sounds like a fair trade. How can I then owe them anything? Okay, um, I, I've already. <laughs> st- I, that's not, that's you're totally right. You're absolutely right. The, I, the only thing is, I've already started with them denying this debt that it's mine. That um, and just I've already disputed, and I filed a motion to dismiss based on violations of the FDCPA. So if I turn around. No, I, and I would, that, say I would that, be admitting the debt. I wouldn't say that harms your case, but uh, I, I, I'm not sure where the position would come from that it's not your debt at all. Where you, what your argument was on that? Oh, tra- trying to say like it was the, the debt of the all capital person and not you? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Okay. No, no, no. Actually, do you know? Are you have you ever heard of what lies in your debt? No. It's another. They have they have another system. It's and it's. It's more like use their laws against them and and follow the court rules kind of. Okay, and so was so, that. So uh, they was... they tell you just deny your deny the debt deny it's not deny it's yours deny it's yours if they ask you if that's your signature you say I don't recall that's not my debt that's not my debt. Ooh, uh, I, yeah, you know what? I don't think I like the sound of that system. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Well, no, I it's not like it. that. No, it, that, sounds, like yeah, that. that sounds a little dishonorable. You actually. refuse your signature because they present you with a copy. It's not the authentic signature, so how could it be your signature? Well, that's you the, weren't there. That is a right? proper argument. That When they say, that's, is this not your signature yes. on the document, you can say, no, that looks like a facsimile. Could you please provide me with the, with the original that's so I can right. verify yeah. it? Uh, that's a proper argument, and they will never provide you with the original because they've cashed it. They've got the deposit, deposit stamps on it, and that would prove the fraud. That is a valid argument, but I wouldn't deny that that's my signature. What, yeah, I would say no, no. That 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 appears to be a facsimile of my signature. It could be. Yeah. Could you please present me with the original document so I can verify that? 
Uh-huh. Right? So demand demand to see the original document now. So that would mm-hmm. go along with the previous argument you already made. Could your client please produce the original document for my inspection? Because you got to remember, no ink signature, no contract. No contract, no liability. Okay. So that's, that's okay. how you want to continue with that argument now instead. And even when they do produce it, then that would go on to, if there's a, say, a deposit stamp on it, that means that the, the document has now been materially altered. Now you say, oh, I see, I think I see what's going on here. These guys use this document to fund, to fund the money, uh, to, to generate the credits they then loan me back. So it seems to me that we're even. That was a good trade. Thanks. Bye. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if, I'm, if my thinking is sophisticated enough to be able to... Uh... It will. You'll be able to wrap your head around it. But always, always ask to see the original instrument. If there's no original doc, that's what's going on with all those, uh, those, those, those MERS uh, foreclosures in, the, in New York right, right now, where all these people are saying, hey, the bank doesn't have the original mortgage document with my signature on it. They're trying to say they destroyed it or they microfiched it or something like that and say, no, no, if you don't have my original ink signature, we don't have a contract. You're no longer the holder in due course, which means I owe you nothing. And, wow. they're, and they're right, and that's why they're winning. Because the, the credit card company presented as evidence copies of account statements. Well, They're copies of account statements enough. prove nothing. Yeah, not they good prove enough. nothing. No, no. I want to see the original contract. The original contract. Account statements mean nothing. Okay. Now, um, okay, so if I ask these questions that you told me, do I – file those questions with the court and well, then ask your, ask your lawyer that first. Ask your lawyer to uh, to, to, to make arrangements. Well, I don't the, have a lawyer. No, no, I'm, their lawyer. No, no, their uh, lawyer. No, no, oh my God, no, don't ever get a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, you want to contact their lawyer outside of the court now and you want to deal with things administratively so that you have a progress report for the court when you get there. Oh, so okay, when, so I'm doing this privately, not through yeah. the court, because every paperwork I filed so far, I file it in the court, and then I send copies to them. Yeah, no, you want to contact them directly and say, hey, I before, before court this next time, I, I need to see this original document so I can verify I even have a contract with your client. Could you please have them produce it for my inspection? And when they don't reply or they don't, you default them, and then you make a motion to the court to dismiss all the charges because they have no original contract. You, they can't produce a contract with you. And I get, I, pr- I probably give them a time frame, right? Ten I days. Say, you have this in this many days. Ten to days. Produce. You have three, ten days to produce this. Yep, three, three days for them to receive it, three days for them to review it, three days to reply, and one day of grace. That's a standard in, 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 commercial, in commerce. You know, you know what? You- I would recommend that you watch his videos from start to finish maybe three or four times. I'm, yeah. I'm already on my Sorry. third time. Yeah, yeah, I understand. And that's that's a- because... Yeah. We can't do this whole thing on here. We've got 20 people waiting in yeah. line. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, like, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah that'll help you immensely, though. Demand to see the original. All right. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Okay, Hi. Humble LC. Hi, how are you? Hi. Fine, thank um, you. Did you have a question? Yes, I do have a question. Um, back in 2006, I did file bankruptcy, and the house that I have was not reaffirmed. Since then, they have given me two modifications. Now they have served me with papers for a foreclosure, and I have actually less than 28 days to respond. Um, what, you know, am I able to use your techniques in this process or, or anything like that? I don't see why not. Uh, boy, without really actually seeing what, what they're doing to you, uh, what, what do you mean two modifications to a bankruptcy? How does somebody just modify a bankruptcy? Uh, yeah, and I didn't understand that either because if it wasn't reaffirmed, there's no loan to modify at that point, correct? Uh, if anybody's going to modify a, an agreement, then they've got to have agreement of the parties. You can't modify something without agreement all around for whatever party is a party to that, uh, to that document, to that agreement. Um, I would send, even, even though it's been a while, yeesh, hopefully it hasn't been too long, I, I, would, I would deny the modification. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, revoked by administration, overruled by administration. Say no. Say you don't have my agreement to modify this existing agreement. Okay, but we did sign off on that, saying that we did want to go ahead and modify it. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, then they have agreement with you. Um, foreclosure. Um, I for for staying foreclosure proceedings. Uh, the same thing as the lady that we just finished speaking to. I would ask uh, if you, if you owe money to who the bank. Right. 
Now you want to start the whole show me the original mortgage document argument. Okay. I want to see the original mortgage document presented to me so I can verify the signature. Um, uh, you could you could try paying it with a promissory note. Uh, offer, uh, say I, I I want to pay off the the mortgage. Present mm-hmm. me with a settlement, and that means uh, because you got to remember a mortgage is a uh, is an offer to pay with future obligations attached to it, right? A mortgage is a little bit different than the promissory note. It's got uh, it's got obligations attached to it, future future income, future profit. Mm-hmm. So when you ask a bank to for for a settlement, say how much to buy out this mortgage now? What's it worth right now if I want to buy it out? And mm-hmm. they'll present you with a settlement offer through their law firm. So they'll have their solicitor present it to you, and then as far as I'm concerned, you should be able to to, to pay them with a promissory note. But definitely go the same way that everybody else in New York's going, uh, and a lot of people in the states are. Demand to see the original mortgage document okay, with your ink with your ink signature. And I would actually go to the bank or the their lawyer. Well, their solicitor. They have a solicitor now. That's who's representing them. So you always talk to that guy now, and you do it outside of court. Okay. Yep. And if they don't produce it, then you would contact the court. And you would make a, a motion to stay uh, to stay or to dis- dismiss this uh, foreclosure. Mm-hmm. Uh, based on the fact that they can't produce uh, the, the documents that the, you even owe them any money. Okay, they now can't say produce for instance, the contract. So say, for instance, they do produce the note with my, my signature on that. Yep. I guess it would they be... Won't. The... They won't. <laughs> okay. That's that's the beauty of it, because they've deposited that, they've uh, sold it, it's probably got deposit stamps on it. Uh, it's been it's shredded. Been, it's been materially altered or registered. That mm-hmm. basically proves that the bank deposited it and that's what generated the the, the revenue, uh, or the sorry, the generated the credits for the house. And you can make that argument as well too. You can feel free to, to draft a document to send to their lawyer to tell them that it's your understanding that uh, that the original mortgage document you filed with the bank was deposited on their books, and you believe that's what generated the credits that then paid for the house. Say so if you I've already paid for it once. Why do you want payment again? Right. Now they have to rebut that and say no, that's not what happened. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. good. Prove it. And so, say they don't, they're not going to produce it, and then I will respond to the courts with, with what again? Well, they they didn't produce the original mortgage document. So how can I? Uh, so how do how do I know there's even a real mortgage on this place? Okay. Right. And then the other argument is, well, if they've got this mortgage document and they deposit it onto their books, it's my understanding that that generated the credits. So right. it was the same thing as a credit card company. We just exchanged species of money. So how can I owe anything? And not only that, if there's an interest rate, so if if if, if you gave the bank a hundred thousand dollars and they gave you a hundred thousand dollars back, mm-hmm. they loaned you zero dollars. Exactly. Now there's interest on that. If there's even one penny of interest on zero dollars, what is that interest rate? Infinity. What? Right. That's an infinity interest rate. Well, isn't that a criminal interest rate? Exactly. Right. Okay. Exactly. Oh, I th- these guys are criminals. They're charging infinity interest rates. I think I have a claim against them, actually. Mm-hmm. And that's what I was wondering, too. Uh, you know, once this process goes through and they don't show me the note, am I able to sue them? Absolutely. Turn, turn, turn around and sue them for Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Set up your claim, contact them, get the, you know, commercially default them, and then take them into civil court and sue the shit out of them. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, it gets to be fun. Okay. Yeah, but you know, nowadays they've got they're making color copies of uh, notes. You know, you've got to make sure you see the the actual. The thing is, if they don't provide the note, then anybody could come back to you at you later on and say you owe this amount of money or that amount of money. Yeah. You know. Oh, here here's another. Uh, based so they on have that, to do it. Yeah, based on that, here's another great question to ask them. Say, if I if I pay out this mortgage tomorrow, will you return the original note to me? Mm-hmm. Right. They're supposed to mark it paid yep. and hand it back to exactly. you. Exactly. never orig- happened. The original ink signature note where my pen touched the paper, I want that stamped paid and I want it returned to me as a condition of me paying off this mortgage. Is that okay? Right. They're probably not going to, you're not probably not going to hear from them again maybe after that. And so yeah, how do somebody, we- somebody put money in escrow at the actual amount to pay off the loan. For, exactly. And that was, you know, they said, you know, if you get. If the money's in escrow, you can have it as soon as you provide for me the original note with my blue ink signature, and it never happened. So, as far as the promissory notes, like how do you go about writing those up? Uh, look it up online. There's so many sources for promissory notes, and one of the big ones I like is actually just download the uh, United Nations Convention on International Bills of Exchange and Promissory Notes uh-huh. and read that, and it actually tells you how to construct one. Oh, excellent. Okay. Yeah, so there's a little bit of reading again that goes uh, goes an awful long way. 
Not a problem. Well, thank you so Very much. Good. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Very good. Bye. Okay, Northeast California.